Super Mobile. Well, welcome back, everybody. Some more Sid Meier's Civilization Colonization. Uh, this is Sid Meier's Civ 4 Colonization. Uh, we are uh, New Amsterdam, and we are playing uh, in 1552 now. The Spanish to our north, who are having some sort of uh, rebel issues. They're, however, really doing a good job of pushing the uh, rage of the local natives at us, which is probably their best move. Uh, and it's working. They're, the Mixtecs are very angry with us. We've got Mixtec uh, up in arms quite aggressively after us. So um, we are producing our gold here. We're soon going to be producing our silver here. I believe we had only a few turns left before the culture successfully expanded. Yeah, eight turns. So we will see if we last that long before war, all out war breaks out. <clears throat> gold, gold, and more gold. Gold's... Uh, Gold, the colony's money worries are over. Secretary bursts in excitement. Uh, sir, here's the hero who uncovered the gold vein. <laughs> Excellent. We have gold. And I believe that's the message when gold makes it back to the new world. Is that not the case? Not the case. Okay, well, I think... Um... Hmm. I think we should... What is it? Was that... Was oh, that when it sailed for the new from the new world? Maybe something like that. All right, nothing exciting that turn other than you know your standard stuff. Ooh, what's going on? Who just jumped in there? Uh, don't know. There's a wolf north of town. That's okay. There's a bunch of wolves of serpents in town, so we got to take care of those first. Uh, we are at twenty three percent mixtech control of their village there, which is causing most of the grief. We got to get more. Uh, more cultural push if we want to force them out before uh, before we break. Oh yes, we were working on the political points before we break the uh, break into all a war. Um, we are waiting, trying to get Giovanni de Verazeno. Uh, three people have already claimed um, members of the explorations uh, category. We need to get to thirteen eighty six in political points in order to gain our two galleons, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but also it's not urgent now, is it? Because we have purchased a galleon. So maybe we go in another direction here. We already have a religious leader there. Three firebrand preachers would be actually really good to produce more faith. On the trade front, we could get the two expert trade, uh, expert native traders. So what these guys do is they, native traders take uh, trade goods, and they go and install themselves like a missionary into a native village, and then, uh, depending on their skill and I think the relations of the natives, you produce a um, you produce a boost to uh, a, a what's it called a, a treasure fleet, a treasure uh, burst, um, basically one of those treasures that we've been collecting, but bigger. Um, we get, get one expert farmer and two fishing boats; those are quite useful. 20% cost of recruiting units in Europe reduction from John Smith. So we've got some options here. If we're on our way to the... What are we at for political points right now? We are at 875. Oh, it's right there. So we're not in a stellar position. A free thing in each settlement. Not really worth it. A mounted conquistadors. Decent. Free promotion of um, for mounted units and gunpowder units getting looter. Not terrible, but not essential. Uh, 1320 for Pocahontas. Um, might be valuable if we're at the point where we hit a war. Might be valuable. So I'm not sure that there's any that we really want to jump on since this guy was already taken. Um, hmm. I don't know who got him though. So there's definitely some people gobbling up different, different batches of, uh, personages. I think... Obviously, I'd like this one better, because more crosses produced by villages probably be better than the Firebrand Preachers, extra Firebrand Preachers, and this is two free colonists and a boost to all cross producers. The Happiness, Herman of Alaska, an evangelist and a bunch of happiness from all the churches. Hmm... On the political front, we could wait for our second guy, so veteran town guards and home guard for all for all units. That's uh, the politics. 
Hmm. None of these are really jumping out at me as urgent, actually. This would be nice, but that's just tools. Okay. So if we don't get the galleons, we would wait for this. I really wanted the hardy pioneers, though. There is a hardy pioneers guy up here, but he's at 2,500 political points. 20% more money when villages are captured, so better loot. Hardy pioneers and expert prospectors. Indentured servants and free colonists. That's a huge population boost. A lot of training needed for those, though, so... Time traveling to Europe, that would be helpful. Ships move faster. Hmm... Political refugees are a good unit. They, uh, they're they like uh, mid-tier statesmen. Pioneer equipment required. Wagons, treks, and others. That's the, the trade wagons boosted. Okay. I think we're going to switch off the political points here. I think we're going to get rid of the political points. Uh, can I drop that to the bottom? No, that's not how that works. How do I switch that? Throw something else in the, in the middle of it? There. Schoolhouse. Now, I don't know how to cancel the active one, but schoolhouse, medical office, corn chamber, and then a town hall. I'd like the well as well, actually. Um, put the well at the bottom. Okay. So we're desperately in need of uh, more military. And oh, that was our ship heading in here, was it? Oh no, that's where it was. We're in, we're in for the trade here. We'll go ahead and get those two resources. Oh, we have no money. Oh, we'll just hang out there then. No trading for you, sir. Uh, we're good. Next turn. This guy is on sentry duty, it seems, only. Can I just have you, like, fortify and stay there, buddy? Uh, do we have friends back in Europe yet? No, he's on his way due in one turn, the galleon. Okay. Uh, this is a little... Uh, a little less than ideal. We have uh, 27 co uh, gold here, so not a lot. Not worth sending the boat yet. Let's hold off. Finish the turn, get uh, back to Europe. There we go. So now we sell these for the proper amount, giving us 1,100 for those. Um, I would like to... We could get another prospector. That's probably the best way to go. So if we get an expert prospector... That's basically all our money. And we'll take the colonist as well. Load them up, head them back. Um, we could have gotten the a military unit, but the problem is at 1100 bucks, it's hardly worth doing. Almost not worth doing. Uh, I'd like this guy to ride on over here. Sail on right by, and they can walk through them because they're not, um, we're not in conflict with them actively. 35 bucks, huh? Hmm. You're just going to hang out a few turns, sir. I want to take out that wolf so they stop harassing our people. Because I think it does actually cause some happiness issues. Uh, you can head up this way, then. To there. You're going to hang out a little while longer. We need cash, but we don't have the cash flow yet. We are making 40 bucks times 9 per turn in gold here. That's good, but... We need to actually get it to Europe for it to count. Oh, come on, dude. Go ahead and hit that wolf. It's been harassing. There we go. Hunt successful. Back to town. Uh, 89 bucks. Okay, we could actually buy something right now. 88? Yes. Excellent. Okay, you head home to... Actually, you head home to uh, New Amsterdam. Galleon's on its way in. It'll just gonna keep... It's just gonna keep running back and forth doing... Uh, Doing gold pickups. Um, we'll go ahead and take those two, load them up on the galleon, take the galleon, and uh, head back to Europe. No, no, both of you load up, please. Hold on, where's the galleon? Oh, right, these guys are brought, were brought back. These, of course, I'm gonna move. Multiple units there. That's good. Um, and then head to Europe with you. You um, can just wait here. Prospector is going to stay in town. Hmm. We've got the supply. How's the happiness? 
8. Uh, 12 versus 4, so we're positive 8 happiness. So we're good. We can bring on lots of people. It's not a problem. I will get our prospector to do a bit more uh, ranching for the mean in the meantime. And we'll put somebody up in the school. So how this is going to work for the school worker is... Uh, they're going to be in there, uh, graduate in 20 turns each, and then they'll be able to come some, become something like a carpenter or a fisherman. The oh, the school, the tier one school requires very specific, um, very specific, just the low level stuff, right? You can't do like, we can't have an elder statesman trained in our little one, one hall school. A bonehead. We already have a church. I don't understand why we need another big building with all the benches in the pulpit. Flex with the lumberjack leans on his crude axe. Not a pulpit, a teacher's podium. Here I can show your boy how to read the holy scriptures himself. Yeah, the the lumberjack wants his boy to be a lumberjack. Come on, buddy. Um, no, we can't afford your uh, wonderful deals, as wonderful as I'm sure they are. Uh, we could take some. Oh, we could actually go get some gold. Let's go do that. And over there, we'll uh, we'll hang out. You are going to... What's the matter? Oh, we got a new population growth. Okay. Um, in which case, we're going to cut some trees for the time being while we're waiting for others. And uh, this boat can wait. Ah, our cotton planter's ready. Good. We get into uh, town here. Uh, he will actually be part of that town eventually. Uh, I think he'll come down this way. Go. All right, you guys are going to load up the gold, 81 of it, and some red peppers. Good. Back to New Amsterdam. And we'll direct tray transfer those resources from here into here. Cross ship them into the uh, flute, and the flute can head immediately with full speed to Europe. Excellent. Okay. Now, you are going to uh, sleep there, good sir. All right, we got the Pioneer finishing up the plantation here. We'll go ahead and put... Oh, we can't afford a road, really? i really like to get that road in. We'll wait over a while here, though. There we go. Galleon has arrived. 1,080. Uh, expert miner, no thanks. Do we have a lumberjack? I don't know if we have a lumberjack. Since we can't, like, train a lot of these, I wonder if we could... Uh, we have a miner, prospector, oh, there we go, you're ready, nice, silver, so, hardy pioneer would be good, ah, he's become a hardy pioneer, good, look at that, he's upgraded, alright, go ahead and build a road there, uh, you can now go back to sleep here, waiting, the silver mine will go online, how much is he gonna bring, six, seven, what was it, he's making seven silver a turn, we're making seven silver and nine gold a turn. That's pretty hefty. Um, medical office just about finished up. We are stocking a good number of tools. If we were to, say, build an armory, we could start making some weapons out of it. And I think that's probably a good choice uh, to add on at the list on the list there. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, it's it's a bit nerve-wracking, but um, do we need any tools made over here? We probably should bring 100 tools over. Let's do that. Let's grab uh, a stack of tools in here. And um, that's probably all we need right now. Yeah. We could get the vehicle back over there. Put the tools in here. Okay, you can wait your turn then. Alright, ships have arrived. Oh, right, I shouldn't have left them there. That's awkward. Uh, so we have 5,000 bucks now to spend. Lovely, lovely. That's a good hit. And the gold. Let's go ahead with an expert lumberjack. You can go on the on board. Uh, and I'll bring you with uh, a helping of trade goods. Perhaps... Hmm. Um. 
I don't have anybody else that I can rapidly coach. Me. I don't have anybody else that I can rapidly train properly. Um, a gunsmith would be a good choice. Start making some weapons of our own. But I think for now what we need to do is get a, uh, um, European line infantry for 1300. And you can head back to New Fred, Amsterdam. Up, up. And you... Well, we could get some artillery. If we put a light artillery in each town, that's probably enough to hold things for now. We got another infantry. Would wrap it up nicely. Probably the veteran infantry, because we can't afford a European line infantry. So load those guys up. 249 bucks left. <clears throat> um, don't know why I would need a master butcher though. See, I guess we'll trade take trade goods as well. And now you can head back so to New Amsterdam yours. as well. Put the trade goods in two separate boats. That way they can drop off at two separate ports, or at least at two separate timings for their trade. We got the um, medical office completed. So the medical office will allow us to produce health points and I think we can get up to 10 health positive which is a um, I think something like that which is a like a 10% boost to um, all productivity so if we're producing a bit of health here okay I don't know how exactly how that works but we'll leave them we'll let them work there for a bit we've got 16 turns left to finish these guys I don't know if there is uh, expert lumberjack what Oh, working to become an expert lumberjack for 17 turns. So he spent 17 turns lumberjacking. He eventually would become an expert at it if we'd left him in there. Well, we could actually do that. If you stay lumberjacking... No, we got a lumberjack coming. Never mind. We got a lumberjack coming. So you'll just... 16 turns, you're going to you're gonna level up to something else for sure. Including possibly be a lumberjack if he's already here. By that point, which he will be. All right, you have... Uh, all your goods here. Let's grab what we can on the way back. We'll just drop off. That boy can just wait there. Say hello, friends. A place for the sick. The doctors arrived just in time. We are been we've been asked to bring two thousand gold back to Europe. I fully agree. That's a grand plan, sir. I would like to do that in a big old hurry. Uh, you can now... Oh, there's a Jaguar there. That's unfortunate. Uh, can I grab our um, mobile dude? Get you to pop over to here. Good. And you built your road? Lovely. How about you get back down to here? And then you're going to go to the silver mine. Set the mine up there. Uh, he would like some royal troops to be dealt with. Over here, you're going to get the mine set up first. Hunt the creatures that are harassing the peoples. Back. Um, Rene has been taken up by somebody. Alright, here we go. We've got... Um, this is the line infantry. And then we got the veteran, and we got a light, we got another light, and we got lumberjack. Lumberjack up here. Good lumberjacking. Good. Now you can become a lumberjack, I do believe, in the not too distant future. We've got two uh, sets of stuff here. I'm going to take two treasures and pop them back in there. We'll send the galleon home with the treasures. And then this fine fellow can come down and visit our neighbors and sell some. Uh, Resources. Now we have a line infantry and a line infantry and a veteran infantry. Uh, we'll take the line infantry over to here. <clears throat> and then we'll also roll an artillery over to here. That feels now like we're not in a in a risky situation. So we now have uh, two infantry and an artillery behind the 
tier one walls. We can get the tier two walls, but only after we get the town hall. Which isn't far off. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. Is that a straight up war invasion? Or is that an attempted raid? Um, line infantry is what set them off. Raiding party. Raiding party. Nothing destroyed or stolen. Good. Uh, what's the green for? Um, deserted cub was found in the wilderness. What? I don't know what that does. When we're happy, learning by doing is faster. Population grows faster. Immigrants from Europe is increased. Uh, slaves and criminals become free faster. Oh, that's, yeah, that's free. Run away less often. Slaves and criminals revolt less often. Domestic markets uh, profits increased and entertainment profits increase. Hmm. Hi, happiness can cause festivities. Nice. Okay, but I really don't know what the other thing is. So just, just get some training for these guys. Uh, I think what we're going to do is have the home guard as our first thing. Oh, no, no. Gain 50% experience points from combat. 100%, uh, that's what we do. Uh, so everybody gets that first. Oh, crash as I kick things. All right, you come up here. You're going to try to build that stuff up there. You're going to rest, sir. And we have, uh, so now we have a Conquistador, which is an 8 strength, the Lion Infantry with a 10 strength, and the, well, not the Dragoon, the Light Artillery, which is a 6. Wonderful. And there's another raid here coming in. All right, you want to train my troops and lose your units. Gunsmoke. Gust of wind approaches as unexpected as if someone in heaven had heaved a sigh. Gunsmoke vanishes. Let me use misfortune. Ah, uh, Father Guat in heaven. Um. Okay, some sort of event. Uh, tax increased by one percent. Trade good. Uh, we'll we'll uh, allow the tax increase. It's unfortunate, but uh, this is whom? What are you, Master Carpenter? Wait, what? Oh, did our dude that was a carpenter just become a master carpenter? Well, I say, thank you, sir. And you are going to actually become a colonist here. And uh, from there, you can uh, head over to here. You are going to uh, mine that tile. Our Dragoon is going to come down here and protect this fine fellow. The artillery can defend here behind the walls. Good, and you guys need your uh, leadership too. Good. Lovely. Ah, oh, the cotton person is on its way. The cotton picker, or planter, is it a planter actually? Trade, let's get some trade goods sold off. What do you give me for these? 417. Okay, let's still double our money. Uh, we'll take the fur, we'll take the grapes. Thank you, sir. We accept your fine offer and we sail down south. Wonderful. 17, or 1568 rolls in, and uh, our carpenter's on his way to Fort Nassau. We need to expand faster, but I think we're going to have to fight our way out. All right, you are... Oh, you're not ready yet. Uh, you are going to need to get your own lumber supply. So to do so, let's bring this fellow back here. Get him resting. And let's see what we have for lumber income. We are producing nine. I'm going to definitely put in another lumber yard uh, in town. Let's do a bit of trading, a bit of more trading here. Let's get some fur and some peppers. That's actually not going to work. Uh, what do you want for this? 100 bucks? Because we'll be full at that point. Yes, we will. Okay. Exit. Um, I guess we're going to actually sail on down the coast a little bit. See what we have down there? There is a double fishing spot down there, but it's outside of... Uh, it might be in range of the tile there, for instance. I don't know. We might have a bunch of them down there already. They shouldn't be able to breach... They shouldn't be able to kill any of these units, for sure. Not with the uh, one guy. Maybe if they send a number of them at a time and they wear down the units, that might be a risk. Uh, 1,020. Okay. 
Uh, we could bring on some horses, for instance, to get some more uh, ranching going, or we could bring on a rancher. Do we have an expert rancher? Yeah, 1200 bucks. Let's bring one of those in. No, I cannot. That's not even remotely affordable. Um, all right, we'll bring on a little more cash. Um, I suppose we could bring on a servant, get him training, or we could get a... We could take a butcher and just delete his skill, or we could take the miner and delete his skill, for instance. Uh, if I wanted to, I could get you to be a scout. And that would be good, because you come with horses. So let's head you back to the new world. So he's not going to be a scout. We're just going to drop him off with a boost of horses to help grow the horse population back in town. Alright, uh, carpenters in house here. That's good. And our cotton planter for now can start uh, working on some lumber supply. Now there is a cotton supply there. So we could get going on that, which would help because we can make um, we can make cloth. Oh, can we make sailcloth out of that? I don't think so. You need just hemp for that. But we can uh, get our productivity up here. Church going for sure. We just need some... We can send a lumberjack out here once we make one. So what do we want here? We want a farmer. A regular farmer. A uh, cotton planter. We could have a tobacco or... A, no, we could have a hemp planter. Hmm. We want, like, eat probably just a base unit out here. And we can have sugar as well if we set up a sugar plantation. Hmm. Okay. Where's that salt? That might be salt. What do we have here? Hmm. More colonists down this way. This is Sweden. Okay. Hello, Sweden. How are you? All right, you, uh, did you build the mine? You did. There's your road. Nice. All right, we'll get him sleeping there. Now, uh, oh, the galleon's on its way back. I wonder. Let's, uh, circumnavigate with this boat. Just sail him west until he finds the coast. Uh, amount of gold and other treasures passing through the city are getting the attention. Perhaps too much attention. Citizens may succumb to such temptations. Uh, they will not. Such talk is rubbish. Treasure is lost. Or take enough gold to pay uh, to pay more guards. Be prepared. Or um, get every adventurer in, on a horse and run them out of town. We get a uh, seasoned scout. Or uh, treasure is lost. In five turns, 80% chance for one turn of disorder. Receive a privateer. Oh man, I wish I had the 50 guns there in town, huh? Okay, if I examine... I could. Uh, if you switch to a farmer, do we have guns? How many do we have? Do -ba -do -do -ba -do -do -ba -do -do. 50 guns. Okay, which means I could do the privateer thing. Yes, we could. Aha. Excellent. Okay. We just got ourselves a, bought ourselves a privateer, didn't we? Oh, no. Was that only an 80% chance that we get a privateer? Oops, I think I did that wrong. Erg. Okay, I might have done that wrong. All right, our seasoned scout here is not a seasoned scout. He's an expert miner. We're going to actually clear his... Um... Mm, yeah, we're going to leave him as a settler. Not a settler, a uh... colonist. We're going to clear your specialty. So it's permanent. He now becomes a free colonist. Uh, and I would like to send you to the other city. Um, yeah, that's perfectly fine. We'll drop off some more treasure here. Just what I want to do. Uh, this colonist is going to come over here where he's going to start working on to, um, hemp farming in the plantation there. And he's going to uh, work there and produce quite a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a cultural boost out here too, eh? It's good. It's not our territory, but there is culture growing out there. So we're really upsetting a lot of these guys. There's no way we survive this without a war. Oh, well. There's no way they survive a war at this point, though. Well, I shouldn't say that. It, it might not be that cut and dry. We have a galleon and only one treasure, huh? Hmm. Load it up then. 
Uh, we can go grab some more treasure from here, and we'll have silver at home as well. So the ship is going to wait a turn. Hello, new persons. Okay, I'm just, uh, well, we can go up this way. It's probable that this is a, not a faster route. You know what? We're just going to go along the southern shore, or along the uh, Antarctica. And uh, I heard there's some good maps of that from a long time ago. We're going to sail along the Antarctic. There are other people here. Yes. Yes, there are. Congratulations. A gang of scruffy horse rustlers. Let's seize the finest animal in the herd. I'll burn the barn if they're pursued. Hmm, there's threats. Be damned. Send the raiding party to recover the beasts and put the ruffians to justice. Or, um, we could use a few enterprising young lads. Uh, lose a hundred horse. No, we will definitely, uh, not lose the horses and get a, um, no, I don't want to trade a hundred horses for, um, that dude. Uh, you're in an awkward spot now because, of course, you can't produce anything useful. So we need an armory. Uh, it's a couple, uh, it's 13 turns down the road. No, it's not. Eight turns for that one, seven turns for that one, and then another 13. It's like... Uh, 20, 30-ish turns plus down the road. That's not ideal. Okay, well, let's get the gold back from New Fort Nassau. 90 of them, huh? Nice. And I will take the gem, or the uh, uh, red pepper as well. The wagon can come home to here. Let's go into town, see if we can transfer that to town. Gold in here. We only have a few tiles, but we got a little extra gold. Good, 108 of it. And 83 silver. I don't think we can travel with another load. So we'll just leave the gold, the 8 gold here. That's not a lot. And we'll take the 64 jewels. Or not jewels. I keep calling those jewels. They're not quite that good. They're, they're jewel-looking fruits, the red peppers. And send the galleon home. Okay, you've got your road built, and you've got your mine 47 turns before it becomes a large one. Go ahead through here. We can build that road, and then we can also build uh, a regular mine for our, our ore miners. They should be able to produce enough tools in Amsterdam to supply both cities, and I'm really banking on the cash flow here to be able to buy up a good, solid military. Um, we cannot buy any slaves, sorry. Not going to help me. Uh, we are minus three food. Let's see about, uh, what is this? This, oh, it's salt mining, okay. All right, go ahead with the uh, hemp planter, however. That's what I'd like, a hemp planter there. Industrial value better than the cash value because nothing quite beats the gold and other products that we have going. You can go ahead and stay put here for a while. Favorable winds to the west. I agree. Go west, young man. Just pretend like we didn't just say that and then run into very unfavorable winds. We can't be more than halfway across the globe, however. Unfavorable winds, storm, ocean. Oh, we got more landmass here. Let's go south. Looks like we do have the... the Arctic here. We got uh, permafrost down here, so we might not even be able to travel to the... Uh, this might be the Southwest Passage thing all over again. Praise the Lord, we have an upgrade to our church. Wonderful. Uh, 369 for this beauty right here. And then we have uh, 1,500 bucks for the silver, 3,800 bucks for the gold, and 304 for the peppers. That's cash flow. All right, so next thing I want to do is probably look at um, more, uh, possibly even getting towards some some main lead uh, politicians at this point. We'll see. If we get um, cloth, might be a good idea to get... Well, we're getting to... Um, we need a roper and a sailcloth maker. <laughs> if we're going to make the sails and stuff for that, but we could probably do that with peasant work at the moment. I don't know if another Hardy Pioneer is a good call at this point. 
Maybe we go with a an elder statesman. And a preacher, maybe another statesman and a medic. We did do a rancher, didn't we? Maybe we didn't. I don't think we did. Bring a rancher online and an elder statesman. Um and at this point. Hmm. Maybe we do want another Pioneer. I'm not sure on that, though. Getting Peppers. Dies. Um, Cabinet Maker would require, like, fine goods. Um, fine lumber production. We're not we're buying fur elsewhere. We could convert the fur that we bring from the other villages into fur trading, however. Or what I can do is I can um Well Hmm. We're gonna want a stone cutter at some point. We don't have a farmer, so let's bring a farmer on. And then some indentured servants to train, perhaps? I don't know. Let's tell the farmer to do something else, like become, uh... Mm, a line infantry? What are we going to get for guns? We should bring some guns with us. We should just bring some guns. That's going to cost us a big old chunk of cash. 1100 bucks. And I think that's probably... Okay, we'll bring, like, one more stack of trade goods. And a ring the butcher. Ah, an evangelist. What is it I like from? this. Okay. So instead of the butcher, we're going to move the evangelist on, the rancher, the elder statesman, and a farmer. All right. And we're going to head off to New Amsterdam. Hey, the butcher can be left behind. The evangelist uh, is a preacher that will give us the, um, the ability to... In Oops, I hit the wrong button. Dang it. They want us to get weapons moving, too. Well, that's interesting. Oh, let's go over here. We haven't found the Pacific yet, but uh, we could soon. I don't know. It's good to see that we can get by there, though. All right, so this is what? What are we making here? Oh, this is going to be a ranch, right? Let's uh, make this into a pasture. That's what we've been using it for right now. This spot here could produce sugar. That is the only place that we'll be able to produce sugar in this. It's a swampy zone. Sugar cane's a tough one to grow in the new world. In this type of setting. All right, we did get the privateer. Excellent. So the privateer can sail around and attack other um, ports that are other, like the Spaniards, for instance. They could we could sail by and attack the Spaniards' trade ships and uh, and and loot their stuff. That's what the cargo space is for for them. So. Uh, I wonder if we could trade as well. Let's do that. Let's see if the privateer can can uh, sail up and do some trade. Now, I don't think any of that will be tradable, but if we head up this way, we might be able to find some. We're just going to keep uh, keep cruising. The Aha! The Pacific Sea has as still and peaceful as the sky. That's why it's called the Pacific, because the first time they sailed around there, it was like, this is perfectly peaceful. It's totally like the worst possible <laughs> spot to sail. But hey, uh, now we can sail back to Europe. Automate uh, back to Europe, please. Uh, discovery of the Pacific. Oh, he's out of, he's out of orders for the turn. Good. So we've discovered the Pacific. I think we got it first, too, which means we might get a nice little juicy boost. There's another raid coming in. Not a fan. Uh, oh, I did manage to get 31 bucks out of it. That's not fine. Jolly Roger, gentlemen, the captain announced. Time has come. He heaves a small chest onto the chart table in his cabin. Curious, the officers watch as he breaks the seal. As soon as our port is out of sight, we are to open this. Those are the governor's orders. He flips open the lid and has, has a grin. Gentlemen, 
here's what we will, what will be on our flagpole the jolly roger so we have a pirate vessel well a privateer vessel now that's awesome okay choose a specialty for graduating student excellent so one of our folk here is graduating uh, two of them are actually so what do we want we want one expert fisherman at least and i think we should put a lumberjack to the new place uh, to the other place as well that's probably a good call so let's go with a uh, expert fisherman notice that they can only get carpenters fishermen lumberjacks pro uh, prospector okay i didn't expect that um fisherman there and lumberjack please excellent Okay, what a triumph. One of our explorers has discovered and mapped an ocean to the west of the New World, which undoubtedly leads to China. Gold and glory, we take both. So we get three to five, three to seven hundred bucks and 176 exploration points, or we prefer honor and glory. Spread the word uh, that we've discovered the Western Road to Asia. We get 440 points. I think we're going to go with the cash. Uh, not the word super strap for cash, but um, the points... We just get for exploring the world. So I think we'll do that, and that'll be fine. We're already going to explore more of the world as we can. All right, this fine fellow has arrived with a whole bunch of people from the New World, or for the New World. So let's get to it. Um, I would like... We should probably have that farmer go to the new... Um, uh, go to Fort Orange. Uh, Fort Nassau, rather. And this fine fellow can go back to being a dragoon. Lovely, our elder statesman can start uh, talking politics in town hall now. Our town is still growing. We have 10 happiness. That's great. Our rancher can start ranching. Wonderful. He's not going to get much yet. He's got a 100% increase to his ranching skill as a rancher. Um, hold on. Uh, honest. What does the expert rancher do then? Hold on. That's not seeming right. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe that's what it is normally. Rancher, rancher, rancher. Let's go with a... This is the uh, Civilopedia, Colonopedia. Whatever it is, promotions, colonies, units, units. I want a... Is it master rancher? Some expert rancher? Expert rancher. There he is right there. Um, plus three production of... Uh, sheep, cattle, or horses. I uh, cannot enter the large river. Plus three production. Plus two from bonus resources. So why does he get plus three production of horses, but he's only producing one? Um... Can explore, be uh, set as an expert rancher. Doubles the number of new horses, cattle, and sheep bred on a plot on which they work when they're assigned as a rancher, cowboy, or shepherd profession. A free colonist produces two horses per round from two food units. Oh, the expert rancher produces four horses from four food units. Horses are needed to build a ranch, which simulates the fact that breeding stock is needed to start a herd. Okay, so he's only getting two, so why? We have the food. We have a ranch, or stable. Okay. Oh, and we are building a pasture. Is that what I was supposed to build? Yeah, it seems like the thing. Monastery. What's a monastery? Hmm. Monastery, really? Build it up in the mountains, that would be lovely. I, I don't know how the monastery works. I've never messed with it before. Okay, this guy is working on the ranch, so keep, or the pasture, so keep it up, right? Last five turns to finish pasture. Good, good. All right, our uh, missionary, he is going to load onto uh, the galleon. Go ahead and get back on the galleon, good sir. The Lumberjack can come up here. Our Fisherman is going to come in here and fish. We now make 18 surplus food. So three turns for growth at the moment. I think the Farmer will also go to the other territory. 
We don't need um, food produced here by on land. It's it's fish in New Amsterdam. Thank you very much. Um, that's it for the people here. How's the gold supply? Fifty four. The galleon isn't available yet, so the missionary is going to sail on down here. We'll drop it off with the galleon. Oh, I could have brought. I should have brought. Uh, trade goods. Let's go back there. Actually, what would be interesting, um, he's been working as to train, become a renowned medic for 16 turns. I could almost let him become a medic. All right, never train him. Just let him learn the skill of medicness. Uh, we are making a bit of surplus lumber now, so our miner can actually become a miner proper. He's only getting eight ore there because we don't actually have a mine on that spot yet, which is unfortunate. Uh, the Dragoon can rest, and you can sail, no, that's Africa, sail to Europe. He'll just disappear there and he'll head the west route. So we actually can see, uh, the flute is four turns away, so he doesn't actually take that long to get here. That's not bad. Thought it would be much longer than that. Port Nassau, a couple of pranksters told the village idiot that a werewolf in the near forest was hunting him personally. The idiot, of course, set the forest on fire to incinerate the beast. Oh, great. Uh, that is a forest jungle out here. Subtract 300 from the treasury, or the jungle is cleared. 60% uh, chance for two turns of disorder. Terrain improvements destroyed. Jeepers, organize a repair. All right. We have uh, Francisco Pizarro as an option. We would get a mounted conquistador, which would be worth doing. Free promotion for looter mounted units and for mounted units and gunpowder units. Okay. If we do that, we are using up 1148 points. We're now actually making political points every turn. The next step is conquistadors and 10% strength boost for conquistadors and mounted conquistadors. Uh, if we were going down the military tree. Now, if we for, if we cancel, oh, the French got Pocahontas. No surprise there. Uh, if we decline him, however, uh, we don't get another chance at him. I like these uh, coastal traders and stuff like that. That's useful, especially the statesmen. Those are quite good. Trade, we're 1,400 points from getting the two expert native traders, which would be amazing to have. 25% better chance for or better prices from bargaining and trading posts. Bargaining and trading posts. That's bargaining with the natives and the cash from the trading posts. Expert farmers and fishing boats. On the religious front, we're very close to... No, we're not. Thomas Hooker is already taken. And we don't have anywhere near enough religious points to go for, the, uh, for George Fox. Exploration. Somebody has got... Uh, um, Giovanni. The next is at uh, 2085 political points. So double our... Oh, I just keep kicking things. Double our political points to get the next one. And uh, that is a lot of people, though. Especially considering we can train them, and that's basically to a full city. But I think we'll go ahead and get this guy. We've got the points. It's just we're making some now. So our agent in Russia tells us that we might uh, have an immigrant that we can buy out from under the Russians for 400 bucks. Mm. We feel obliged to help these people fulfill their dreams, your majesty. I love the double speak. It's hilarious. Ah, we don't get a bishop again. Missed that one twice now. All right. This is our dragoon. Yes. No, this is not our dragoon. This is our mounted conquistador. He can head over to Fort Nassau. With the other conquistadors there. Good. And then we have the Dragoon as well here. So we now have a mounted unit, two infantry, and an, artil or and an artillery at each town. Uh, we came back with the ship to get uh, 100 units of that beautiful stuff. That's good. And uh, the ship can then continue heading back down to Manaus next turn. Where is our... F oh, right. He's sailing... Around the world. And this is our privateer. Looking to hit up a Frenchman here. Hmm. Hello, Frenchy. Uh, not ready yet. Okay. Uh, is there a trade port up there? There is. However, we could sail around this way. 
Let's probably sail this way for next turn. We'll see. Whoa, boats everywhere. Whoa, hey, what? How the heck did you just attack me, Mr. Privateer? Privateer successfully fought off the French sloop. Okay. Apparently they're spotted when they get uh, on top of us. Um, 3% tax. Jeepers. Trade goods? Well, I don't need them. No, we're going to throw the trade goods. Sorry. The 100 trade goods gone. 3% tax is a bit harsh. Uh, we have opened borders... Uh, we have opened your borders to the Danish people. Don't you know their manner? You, oh, you have opened the borders. Um, cancel the open borders of the Danish. Okay. I'm all right with that. We have canceled our open borders with the Danish because of their atrocities to those to our friends. That's what we're going to say. Yes, that's what it is for sure. Uh, medical office is available now. All right, our lumberjack can get lumberjacking right up there. Thank you. And our, um, well, our cotton planter is now cotton planting. Do we need him cotton planting? Hmm, we probably need a farmer soon. Uh, we could do farming here. That would be a useful one. We're, we're short on food big time here. Uh, what is our farmer going to do for farming? There's a six tile farmer up there he could do. Okay. We, do we have tools? We do. So this guy could instead be coming a pioneer. Okay. So you're going to come out as a pioneer and get up... Ah, uh, there's potatoes. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Johan Riesig, that is the Swedish down here, has declared war on this guy, right? Yes. Okay, that is interesting. That This looks like it's just a little peninsula here. The Swedish are kind of locked on that peninsula. Well, I mean, they can sail off and start anywhere, right? But they're locked on that peninsula, it looks like. Interesting. Okay, there is a good opportunity here for a farm, so we'll go through and we will uh, road our way through there. Uh, the mounted conquistadors can wait here. All right, you have gotten yourself some wonderful experience, sir. Uh, movement and naval warfare, veterancy, sea explorer, um, mobility. Minus one train cost. No. We'll go with the navigation for the extra boost to speed. What is your uh, your situation like? 27 strength. And I keep sailing right on past. Okay, we're going to go into that village and do the uh, trade we can with them. There's another raid coming in. I want the better walls up here soon. And I think we're going to be able to get into a proper war with these guys before too long. If we have a couple more loads of coin going home, bullion and uh, silver and gold bullion going home, we should be able to get ourselves set pretty good. And where is the expertise? This guy has... Oh, he was the one that defended last time. And he's defending again this time. Um... Drill Sergeant Strength and Gain Experience Points in Combat. We'll get with Drill Sergeant to get more experience points and more more uh, training, or more strength. The strength is just your base factor of combat. All right, let's uh, initiate some trade here. Uh, 375 bucks. We'll take it. It's not great, but we'll take it. Uh, do you have other trades that you can do? Yeah, you do. Fur and hemp. But I don't know that that's what we want to be doing here. Let's go ahead and heal up the ship. See what he what comes up there. Uh, did you just get a free colonist? Looks like we did. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to put you directly to training. 20 turns for that. 72 silver in hand. Go ahead and get that first level of road in. Fort Nassau. All right, we're going to pause there for today. We're in 1582. Um, it's been a while. We've been going at this for a little bit. We're in a situation where we got to start pushing back against these uh, raiders and or push at the Spanish. That is a bloody huge place. There is a 19 in La Isabella. Holy crap. Okay, that's probably a 
crazy idea to attack there, but maybe not. Wait, is he just sitting there? He's the native trader. He's just chugging on his brew. That's phenomenal. Okay, if we declared war on him, I don't see any any other locations. He might be one cityying it. Uh, if that's the case, and we lost, if we left, say, let's say we left um, the artillery and a militia here in town, or something like that, or line infantry and the artillery in each town. That would probably be plenty like? enough to uh, make a raid on them. So if we bring, when we bring the galleon back up here, maybe we'll consider going after the Spanish. All right, let's see what we can cash in there. 1443. We got a master carpenter from the other guy on board there. I don't know about the butcher, but uh, we can't no longer see how it's red. We can no longer trade. Um, oh, pay 1890 gold and you can trade with this again. Oh. Hmm. Didn't know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the butcher. Let's take this guy. Oh, and an expert hunter. Man. Hunter. And an expert stonecutter. And a roper. Okay. Let's take the hunter. No, not the hunter. Let's take the free colonist for training. And I think we'll take the stonecutter and start getting some stone cutting done in uh, New Amsterdam. Zeker. Wonderful. All right. Well, we'll leave it at that. There is. Oh, yes. Of course, we'll help to cause your eminence. Uh, that's lovely. Um, we've got uh, lots to deal with. I think these Spanish need to be taken care of. They've got too big. They're 20 now there. We can bring the privateer back down here. We can take the galleon and drop off the units right on his doorstep. Uh, and hope the privateer can defend against the others and uh, try to steamroll them and see if that's a thing. That's kind of what I'd like to possibly do. Because if we could take out Isabella without the natives responding to defend it, which might not happen, but hopefully, uh, then we could dramatically affect the uh, balance of power here, and it, getting Isabella would be useful, very useful for us. So, Because, um, well, it has nothing, basically, but fish. But it's probably got lots of lumber and other things going on there as well. So, All right, that's uh, it for today, though. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. Have yourselves a great rest of the day. See you in the game.